Hey, welcome back to Uplifting Studios TV and this is another episode of Mindset Matters and today I'll be sharing with you about negative self-talk. This has actually stemmed from a conversation I was having with a friend who shared that she actually struggles a lot with negative self-talk and it got me thinking if this is something that she struggles with, then maybe this is something that you struggle with as well, because I know that this is something that I have battled with as well. And so I've prepared six tips to help you move from self-talk to a path of abundance. So here we go. Number one is creating new thought patterns. So, for example, there is a new role coming up at your workplace, a promotion, and you would like to apply for that and you are really wanting to do that. But negative self-talk checks in and you start telling yourself that perhaps you're not qualified enough. Um, perhaps your colleagues are better placed to apply for this role. They're better than you. Or maybe you haven't worked in this particular company or organization for long enough to be putting your hand up for that new role or that new position. And so you tell yourself all sorts of things to talk yourself out of it. This is what you need to do. You need to begin to shift your thought pattern into something positive by telling yourself, well, what can I do to prepare myself for this promotion? What is it that they're seeking in this role? And is it something that in six months time I would be better placed to do? Is it something that in 12 months time I would actually be a prime candidate? So what can I start doing today to get myself to that higher level? How do I need to upskill? What are the things that I need to do to become absolutely amazing at my job? And it's beginning to tell yourself that yes, you're worthy. And yes, this is these are the steps I'm going to take because six months from now, I'm not going to be in the job I am. I'm going to be in a better job. I'm going to be in a higher position. And these are the steps that I'm going to take to upscale myself. So you see how you've um, changed that, that negative thought from, oh, I couldn't possibly get this promotion. You've changed it to, well, I, I really want to get this promotion, but maybe I'm not ready right now, but what can I do to be ready in six months or in 12 months? And you don't know what other role might be available that may very well suit you, that may actually be better this, than this particular one, and even probably offer a higher pay. So it's all about changing that thought pattern to something positive. Number two, retrain your mind to think rationally. So for example, you've watched something on the news and you start thinking really negatively. You've seen something um, really shocking and you're thinking that could happen to me or to a loved one. It's thinking about it from a rational perspective and, and saying, what are the facts? What is the likelihood that this could happen to me in the town where I live um, and this could happen to my loved ones here? It's really looking at things from a rational perspective, but also choosing to believe a better narrative, choosing to believe a positive story that will not see you go down that spiral of negative thinking. Number three, Filter what you watch, what you read, and what you listen to. And perhaps even the people that you are spending time with. It is learning to filter how much of these um, negative news am I going to consume? How much of this news am I going to read about that is going to just make me feel um, that things are really, really negative and that there isn't anything positive going on around me? How much longer can I listen to this friend who always talks about negative things and has a way of making me feel less than. So it is filtering and knowing that my mind is a sponge and I need to protect it. And so I choose to filter what comes in. I choose to feed it more positive stuff 
the negative stuff because the more I feed it good things, the more I will produce good things. And so it is knowing when to, you know, put uh, a filter around yourself and say, you know, I've had enough of this um, negative news. I've had enough of what I'm reading. And perhaps I've had enough for this particular friend who dwells in matters that are rather negative. And number four is accepting that sometimes we will have intrusive thoughts. Sometimes we will have thoughts that are not necessarily positive. And it is knowing how much of that you're going to allow to sit within yourself. Yes, those negative thoughts may come, but how are we allowing that to, you know, stay within us? Is it something that we're allowing to, you know, take root in our bodies, in our minds, so much so that it, it completely begins to have a, a really big impact on us. It's when you hear something, when you see something, when you're around something, when you think something, letting it go as quickly as it came and dwelling on something else. And this is where number five comes in really, really well. And this is focusing on others, throwing yourself into something that is actually meaningful. Now, I don't know if you've had this saying that goes like, we rise when we lift others up. So as we're lifting others, as we're supporting our friends, as we're supporting our families, when we set aside our issues and perhaps go to the aid of somebody else, by being there for them, we're actually filling up our cups as well because by being there and seeing them rise up, we are also rising up with them. So perhaps this is something you can train yourself to do is immerse yourself um, in, in doing something meaningful for others. And number six is possibly my favorite one. And it's one that I go to from time to time. And for me, it's been anchored in my faith. It's finding peace in my faith. There's a scripture that I absolutely love, and it is Psalm 121. And it says, I look up to the hills. From where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And I find so much joy in that because I know that there is somebody who is bigger than me. I know that there is somebody who is greater than me and that I can submit to that authority, the authority of a higher being, knowing that my needs are completely taken care of, that this is not for me to worry about because there's so many things that are out of my control. I cannot control the phone calls that come that could potentially have bad news. I cannot control what comes on the news. I cannot control what happens in my workplace. But one thing I can do is that I can submit all authority to a higher being and I can rest and find peace in my faith. So, Take what you can from these tips and see which one works for you. And I would absolutely love you to share this with a friend who you think would benefit from hearing these tips to help them not spiral down that road of self, uh, negative self-talk, but to go into a path of abundance, of positive thinking. And lastly, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to head over to upliftingstudios.com.au and over there I've got a free audio guide. It's a mindset audio guide with three tips to help you unshackle self-limiting beliefs. And I believe when you listen to that, it will begin to help you walk through a path where you begin to loosen those grips of self-limiting beliefs and into a path of abundance, a path that I believe you were created for, which is to live a bigger, better life. So until next time, take care.